You're gonna wanna enjoy this drink this whole summer without having to step into a Starbucks. Have this Starbucks style iced mocha at home with ease and way more chocolatey. Let's go. Now you can look at the ingredients here. It clearly is gonna be a fraction of the cost that's gonna be at Starbucks and just way more tastier. So it's a win-win. The full recipe is on the website, but first let's talk about the difference between a iced latte and an iced mocha. See, an iced latte is made of a third parts of espresso and two thirds part milk. While the iced mocha contains a chocolate base, your coffee, some milk, and of course, your whipped cream. So the base is what we are going to be starting with. So on the pot right there, I have some heavy cream just coming up to the most gentlest simmer. We just want to steam it. To that, I've added my chocolate chips, semi-sweet, and you just want to start mixing it and mixing it until they start to melt very gently. And now eventually, when that chocolate has molten completely, the texture that you'll be seeing will be much closer to a really smooth, dark kind of chocolate sauce. And once you have that, just transfer it to a squeeze bottle and the, the spout on the lid will help release that excess steam. Otherwise, if you shake it with all that hot steam inside, it's gonna go everywhere. Trust me on that, it happened with me. Now next comes the coffee and I'm making an espresso-like coffee in a French press. Pick your favorite kind of blend, something with chocolate, even better. The coffee is gonna brew away and you're gonna be ready to enjoy this drink right after the beans, right after the ground coffee is done steeping. Let that sit for a couple of minutes, let's say four, with that lid on and then once that time is up, go ahead and push that plunger down and you are ready to now start preparing the actual drink. Now you can see I have some uh, Starbucks cups that I used and saved for this recipe and I'm gonna drizzle a bunch of that chocolate sauce right in there, get some nice pads on the side so you know how to do it now and then top that up all the way, like about halfway with ice. Not all the way, that'd be too much. Then start portioning in then start portioning in your coffee and I'm aiming to fill the cup till that half point. So yeah, the glass is half full. Then go ahead and splash in some milk and for me, it never really gets old. That cloud of milk as it mixes with the coffee is just always pretty. And I'm gonna mix it a little bit before adding in my maple syrup. Well, I have in Canada and I always have that on hand. Just give that another quick whirl before topping with your whipped cream. Now I have this fancy old whipped cream dispenser, which is Starbucks style. Apparently they use the same brand, so you can check that out down below. But I also got the drink from Starbucks so we can look at it in person and the whipped cream dispenser is in action now and it's just a pleasure to use it it's just so much fun and yeah i do snack on it now here's the bad thing about making these drinks at home when you figure out what really goes inside it you adjust it to match your preferences so then when you go back to the original aka that starbucks drink that i bought will you realize that what you thought was chocolatey was not actually chocolatey and what you made is something that you like even more. Plus, because I got that Starbucks drink but I actually on that day had my actual drink, right? The next day when I had my coffee prep, um, the actual chocolate syrup actually got settled down at the very bottom. Well, just like any other normal person with chocolate syrup at the bottom of any container, I grabbed a spoon and uh, I went away at it to taste what it actually is like. So that's something that you don't really taste that often. You can argue that mixed in will taste much better, but even separated, chocolate sauce should taste like chocolate sauce. It didn't. It was grainy. It wasn't as chocolatey as it looked. So it clearly was not completely made of chocolate, cream, and maybe vanilla. Like it was something else. I'll probably still buy it again but 
but it just wasn't what I expected. So if you want to try a great drink at home and you don't want to pay for crazy delivery fees because you know that's a thing, then check out this recipe, check out my other iced drinks or maybe even check out my iced white chocolate mocha recipe. I'll see you on the next one.